and welcome back to the more FMO. Uh, holy shit, we do that. <laughs> Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to some more Secret of Evermo. We're here in the next area after that labyrinth part, and we're gonna kill all the maggots and um, try to find the big bug and star Stronghearts. Still, and in this episode, I just know it that we will do it. Now, um, what's cool about charging up to level 2 is that when you hold the run button at the same time, you can run even further. So you start at 100% and you can run very far. But still, it's, um, it's still faster to just keep on pressing it. Found a pedal! How nice! Uh, do we have... Okay, four of them. Alright. Because sometimes the enemies can drop pedals, but you never know what they drop until you click on it. And if it is an item, for example, pedal, that, and if you have six of them, you can't carry anymore, and the pedal will disappear. And there's another one. And clay. So, um, when an enemy drops something, you could take a chance to heal yourself with the pedal, and then get, get it back from the enemy. And thereby you get a free... Recover, but sometimes it uh, doesn't contain it, so it's like shit. I just wasted, or maybe you didn't. It's like you have to think. Down here is another maggot guarding the most. You see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it was a pedal. So now we have six of them. That's very nice because we're up against the boss fight very soon, and I think we're ready. Six heals. Full super heal, four recoveries or resurrects for the dog, and it will also heal him to 100 health. So, in this stage and the amount of health that he has, he will always get resurrected to full health. And we have uh, 18 spells in total, so I think the boss fight will be no problem. Now, there is a very good trick with this boss which can earn you a lot of experience. And I'm going to go into my stats to see how much I have now. Let's go with the dog. I mean, eh, he has 608 experience. Let's go. I know you've seen this boss already, even though you haven't played this game. Crazy ass music. And our charge time is stuck <laughs> halfway through. There he is, the main guy on the cartridge and the first thing you see in the demo. So this boss fight is very famous. And he will spawn maggots and cast magic, he is quite difficult. But I'm gonna try to kill his hands, or claws, because they yield a lot of experience. And the music is so crazy, but really fits the whole spider and all the legs, and... I just really like it. Okay, I got it. It has a lot of health, so having level 2 on the Bone Crusher really helps here. And this is a very good place for the dog to level up its basic attack. I mean, its weapon skill. So while I do this, the dog is going to kill them and get oh, weapon experience. Now we need to be very careful, because if we die, we will have to redo the whole shit from where we started in the last episode. So I'm going to be very careful. And <coughs> exactly. Now, the, one of the designers of this game said in an interview uh, many years uh, later, when after this game got released, that he got to this part and died, and then he really felt like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore, because, uh, you know, it's so far, and no save point. There's no save, uh, save for this boss, and uh, that made a lot of people don't want to play this game, because they go through the bug mark, they do so much and then die of this boss because it's so strong. And you saw that, he did 60 damage in total with the acid rain. And there's no way to dodge that. Let's see, we got about 300 experience? 250? 250 experience. It's very much. So you want to kill them. So you see, I, and I can also see very clearly why many people didn't like this game and quit it because of this part right here. They really should have added a save point or something. Wow, he killed three of them. A save point or something at this part. But if you know the game like me and you're prepared, this boss fight, uh, you can beat it with no problem. And I think I want to heal the dog. Um, but uh, that's about it. That's like the only really bad part about this game. 
And then there they are. They're both gone. Let's see. He has very close to leveling. So yeah, see, about 250 experience uh, for uh, destroying the arms. And I just wanted the dog to increase its basic skill. Because he is uh, almost halfway through. Now we can... Oh shit, there's the acid rain. It's such a long animation as well, and it does a heavy amount of damage. Now, in order to attack this boss for real, you need to attack his ribs like this, and you go inside and hit the heart. But what I like to do is actually to destroy the ribs, which most some people don't know that you can do. And then they will always stay open. Uh, should I heal? Nah, we can continue for a little bit longer. Now there is a very cool trick if you have... Uh, oh wow. Oh, I, th I see the ribs are open always now. That's nice. Now I would like to heal myself before the next accessory comes. So a trick you could uh, take a chance at is uh, if you heal yourself or do some kind of animation like that, while he casts uh, Acid Rain, or just before it, you will cancel the effect of the Acid Rain and take no damage. But it's very hard because the Acid Rain seems to come at random or a very specific time, which is not easy to determine. Let's see if we can attack at the same time, and we do- HOLY SHIT! 281 damage! That's because we attacked at the same time as the dog, and this boss doesn't have a lot of physical defense. And uh, let's go ahead and show the flash. You can uh, choose to uh, target one, or multiple, up to three targets. And he just killed one of them. But if you split it up, you also split the damage. So we, just by casting, like on this guy, we do much more. Okay, not much more, but still, you do more damage. And uh, heal our main character, because I think the boss can target just you with the acid rain. Or maybe only does that if the dog is dead. And then, the same deal there. The damage isn't split, and he does a lot of damage to you. And he does like 50 maybe. And the boss is already dead. Nice. 750 talents, that's a, a really good reward. <laughs> I love how they exaggerate with explosions. And he just sits there, the boss is like, is it, is it over yet? I don't... And we got the spider's claw! The first axe in the game. But now we can't use the charge up uh, thing anymore, so that's bad. But it is stronger. As we can see here, it does 15, and the bone crush only has 10. And our attack went up. And it has a very light, nice long reach, like that, like that. But I think for now, I'm actually going to stick with uh, the stick. Oh wait, maybe not. Let's see, how far is it to... Uh... Alright, swords. It counts as a sword, <laughs> that's nice. And with the axe, we can cut grass and the webs. And there he is. You're a brave adventurer indeed. Thank you for saving me. I am Strongheart from the village of Fire Eyes. I am a member in good standing of the Nobilian Order of Alchemists. I'm Grims, and this is my dog. <coughs> and uh, he hasn't been himself lately. I'm very happy to uh, meet both of you. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. If you didn't come along and save me, I would have been eaten alive. Please take this gift with my thanks. Ten wax and ten oil. <laughs> good luck, Crimps. And good luck with your commentary. But I gotta say, it really sucks. <laughs> that voice. And that's uh, the big bug. And the th fun thing is that the, the, that whole area, the labyrinth and everything and the boss fight was inside this huge bug. Carapace or whatever it's called the skin of a very big bug. So, way before, there was a bug which was even bigger. So I like to think that this boss fight was like one of its spawns. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. I didn't think about that when I was, you know, very little and played this game. Now we are basically back. You can see it's the main area, but we are up here instead. 
And we can get this and get the Mammoth Guard. Which is a really nice present because it is um, yeah, an arm guard and it gives us two defense. So there was no need to buy... <laughs> I like how the enemy is like, uh, can I... Yep. So if we would have bought the Vine Guard or whatever it was, it would be no point because we get this Mammoth Guard. And knowing that in advance is uh, very nice. So we're up here again, uh, but up uh, on another level. And we're gonna continue up uh, along this path and then start cutting the grass in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I really mean it. Look at the scale snail. He's so cool. He doesn't even know what he wants. I will see you next time, good folks. Have a great day.